Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. In this video, I'll present three puzzles about finding the length in the given figure. Problem one, a right triangle has legs that are equal to four and six. A semicircle has its center on the hypotenuse and is tangent to both legs. What is the radius of the semicircle equal to? I thank Ismat from Bangladesh for the suggestion. Problem two, the world needs you right now. Two countries are feuding over a mountain range. They tell you that if you can just figure out the length of the base of this mountain range, it will help the two countries come to peace. This is for reasons beyond your intelligence clearance. Due to geopolitical reasons, you can't directly measure the length of the base, but you are able to come up with some other measurements. This first slant is six, the next is 5, the next is 4, and the last is 3. This vertical distance is 10. You are also able to come up with some angles. This first angle is 45 degrees. Each of these is a right angle. This is a 45 degree angle. And this final angle is 90 degrees. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to calculate the value of x. I thank Michael from the Czech Republic for submitting a problem which inspired this puzzle. Problem three, we have two circles that are tangent to each other. Construct parallel lines between them. Now construct a small circle that's tangent to the two large circles and one of the parallel lines. Then do the same thing on the other parallel line. If the distance between the centers of the two small circles is equal to 96, what is the distance between the centers of the two large circles? This is from the 2016 Bangladesh Mathematical Olympiad. Pause the video if you'd like to give these problems a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve these problems. Let's solve problem one. We will derive a general formula. Suppose the right triangle has legs that are equal to A and B. We will prove that R is equal to AB divided by A plus B. In other words, R is half the harmonic mean of A and B. This formula can also be rewritten as one over R is equal to one over A plus one over B. Let's see why this is true. The area of the right triangle is equal to one half A times B. We are now going to calculate the area of the right triangle in another way. Construct one radius to the point of tangency on the leg with side length A. This will have a length that's equal to R. We then construct another radius to the other point of tangency. We construct the following triangle. We have a base A and we have the height upon the base A that's equal to R. So this triangle's area will be equal to one half R times A. Then we have another triangle here, and the area of this triangle will be equal to one half times R times B. So we have one half A times B is equal to one half R times A plus one half R times B. Canceling the one half terms on both sides and factoring on the right hand side, we get that AB is equal to R multiplied by A plus B. Dividing both sides by A plus B, we get that R is equal to AB divided by A plus B. We then take the reciprocal of both sides and then divide through by AB to get that one over R is equal to one over A plus one over B. So now let's solve the original problem. We had A is equal to four and B is equal to six. So R is equal to four times six divided by four plus six. This equals 24 over 10, which simplifies to be 12 over five, which equals 2.4. And that's the answer. Now let's solve problem two. You think about the problem for a while and you remember some high school geometry which will help you. First, extend the line marked five. Then construct a perpendicular so that you form a rectangle. Opposite sides of the rectangle are equal to each other, so this length is also equal to six. Then you extend the three line. 
Then construct another perpendicular to form another rectangle. Opposite sides of this rectangle are equal to each other, so this length is also equal to 4. Now we formed some right triangles. This is a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. If one side is x, the other side is also equal to x, and the hypotenuse is equal to x times root 2. So the other leg is also equal to 6, and the hypotenuse is equal to 6 root 2. This is another 45, 45, 90 right triangle. So this leg is also equal to 4, and this hypotenuse will be equal to 4 root 2. Finally, we have a final 45, 45, 90 right triangle, so the other leg is equal to 10. The base is the sum of these distances, and that means that x is equal to 10 plus 10 root 2, which is approximately equal to 24.14. You submit this information to your superior, and this little bit of information helps the two countries come to peace and you've done a great service. Now let's solve problem three. We'll first review a principle. If two circles A and B are tangent to each other, and they have a tangent point T, their centers and the tangent point T are collinear. To do this, draw a line through the tangent point T. Then AT will be perpendicular to the tangent line. BT will be perpendicular to the tangent line and therefore ATB will be a straight line segment. This is true for both externally and internally tangent circles. So now let's solve the problem. Let's first say the radius of the large circle is equal to A, and the radius of each of the small circles is equal to B. Now the diameter of the large circle will be equal to 2A. Now this will also be equal to B, so now the distance between the two small circle centers will be 2a minus 2b, and that is given to be 96. So we have 2a minus 2b is equal to 96. Now the distance between the centers of the two large circles will be equal to a plus a. So we need to solve for 2a. To do this, we will construct a right triangle like this. The hypotenuse will have a length that's equal to a plus b, and then the other leg will be equal to a minus b. So we have a squared plus the square of a minus b is equal to the square of a plus b. So now let's just focus on these two equations. From the first equation, divide both sides by 2, so we have a minus b is equal to 48. We'll then solve for b to get that b is equal to a minus 48. We can substitute both of these into the other equation. So a minus b is equal to 48, and then we'll substitute b is equal to a minus 48. So we have a squared plus 48 squared is equal to the square of a plus b. We substitute in for b, then we simplify. We expand the binomial, we then simplify, and we can then factor out an a. Now a cannot be equal to 0, that's the radius of the large circles. So we have 3a minus 192 is equal to 0, which means a is equal to 64. We just go back to the original diagram now. We need it to solve for 2a, so 2a is equal to 128. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.